Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. Long time ago in China, there lived a poor boy whose name was Aladdin. Aladdin lived with his mother. One day, a rich and distinguished-looking man came to their house, and Aladdin. Aladdin lived with his mother. One day, a rich and distinguished-looking man came to their house and said to Aladdin's mother, "I am a merchant from Arabia and want your son to come with me. I will reward him handsomely." Aladdin's mother instantly agreed. Little did she know that the man pretending to be a rich merchant was in reality a magician. Next day, Aladdin, having packed his belongings, left with the merchant. After many hours of traveling, the merchant stopped. Aladdin to stopped, surprised that they should stop in such a desolate s spot. He looked around. There was nothing in sight for him. The merchant pulled out some colored powder from his pocket and threw in the ground. The next instant, the whole place was filled with smoke. As the smoke cleared, Aladdin saw a huge opening. In the ground, it was a cave. The merchant turned to Aladdin and said, "I want you to go inside this cave. There will be more gold than you have ever seen. Take as much as you want. You will also see an old lamp. Please bring that back to me. Here, take this ring. It will help you." Aladdin was very suspicious, but the decided to do as was told. He lowered himself into the cave, thinking all the while that it would be difficult to climb out without help. Aladdin entered the cave, and just like the merchant had said, saw gold, jewelry, diamond, and other valuables. He filled his pockets. When this was done, he looked for the lamp. It was lying in the corner, full of dust and dirty. He picked it up and ran to the cave's opening end and shouted to the merchant, "I have your lamp. Can you please pull me out? Give me the lamp," said the merchant. Aladdin was not sure that he would be pulled out if he gave back the lamp, so he said. First, please pull me out. Aladdin and the genietha angered the merchant. With a loud cry, he pulled out the same colorful powder and threw it on the cave opening, sealing it with a huge boulder. Aladdin was depressed. He thought that was no rich merchant. He was surely a magician. I wonder why this lamp was so important to him. As he was thinking, he rubbed the lamp. All of a sudden, a strange mist filled the room, and from the mist emerged a stranger-looking man. He said, "My master." I am the genie of the lamp. You have rescued me. What would your wish be? Aladdin was scared, but he said in quivering voice, "Ta, take me back home." In the next moment, Aladdin was home, hugging his mother. He told her of the magician and the lamp. Aladdin again summoned the genie. This time, when the genie appeared, he was not scared. He said, "Genie, I want a palace, not an old hut." Again, to Aladdin, in his mother's amazement, in front of them was a magnificent palace. Time passed. Aladdin married the Sultan's daughter and was very happy. It so happened that the evil magician got to know of Aladdin's good fortune. He came by Aladdin's palace pretending to exchange old lamps for new. The princess, Aladdin's wife, not knowing the value of the lamp to Aladdin, called out to the magician to wait. As soon as the magician saw the lamp, he grabbed it from the princess's hand and rubbed it. The genie appeared. You are my master, and your wish is my command. He said to the magician. Take Aladdin's palace to the great desert far away from here," ordered the magician. When Aladdin came home, there was no palace and no princess. He guessed it must be the evil magician who had come to take revenge on him. All was not lost. Aladdin had a ring that the magician had given to him. Aladdin pulled out that ring, rubbed it. Another genie appeared. Aladdin said, "Take me to my princess." Soon, Aladdin was in Arabia with his princess. He found his lamp lying on a table next to the magician. Before the magician could react, Aladdin jumped for the lamp and got hold of it. As soon as he had the lamp, Aladdin rubbed it. The genie appeared again and said, "My master, Aladdin, it is indeed good to serve you again. What is it that you wish? I want you to send this magician to another world so that he never harms anybody," said Aladdin. Aladdin's wish was carried out. The evil magician disappeared forever. The genie carried Aladdin, the princes, and the palace back to China. He stayed with Aladdin for the rest of his life. Please subscribe.